Before we dive into actually building the naked model, I want to show the things that we are going to use to help build this model. Number one, you got to have an X-Acto knife, a hobby knife, anything, something with a sharp blade. Be careful. You don't want to lose a finger. Next up, sprue cutters. I know you can kind of use this for the same thing, but sprue cutters, you kind of just have to have. I mean, it's it makes building go so much easier. If you don't have them, you got to get them. That's my opinion. Next up, we're going to have to have a sanding stick because regardless of how good you use this or this, you might have to just use this a little bit. We don't need the real coarse one. In fact, this one might be a little bit too coarse. We got finer ones of those. Next up, I'm probably going to have to use the panel scriber because due to the rules, we can use different colored plastic from different issues of the kit. And so as you saw in the intro, we have a red Corvette and we have a black Corvette. And we will be using the black plastic where it is black and we will be using the red plastic where, yep, you guessed it, where it's red. So there's going to have to be a little bit of minor surgery going on, which will also probably need the Ninja Hypercut Saw. You've watched my videos, you kind of see that we do some customizing around here, and that's one of my favorite tools. And we probably will use the plain old X-Acto saw as well, that if we need to do some more not so precision cuts, but we'll have it just off to the side. So then we'll have what we actually need to build with. You gotta have some glue. Faller is my go-to. Yeah, we probably won't be using that glue that came in that red Corvette. I'm probably going to have used some of the extra thin Tamiya as well. I don't know. We're going to just kind of have that on the side. We're going to have some super glue just in case. Normally that's for um, doing painted surfaces or heavy customizing and since we're not really doing a lot of that I, I we're gonna just have it finally we're gonna you have some five minute epoxy just in case so that kind of shows our adhesives that we are gonna have on hand do you have to have them all probably not but you certainly need to have something like this in addition to the glues, the rules say that we can use a few other things. We have panel line accent. That is the closest thing to paint. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use this. We might just put little dabs of it on the chrome to add some depth. We'll see. But this is within the rules that Sodak has set forth. This also said that we can use Sharpie markers. We have a couple of those in various point sizes. We'll probably use some of that. He also says that you can use silver Sharpies, Molotow pens, etc. I have a silver paint pen here. Hmm, I might use some of that. Perhaps the most important thing he says that we can use is bare metal foil. Yep, this is going to be the thing that really makes this build good. Another important thing that we're going to use is a polishing kit. Everyone that has polished paint knows what it, this is about, and this polishes plastic just as good. So we might have to, we're going to have this on standby just in case. So that basically is all of the supplies that we need other than the kit. So let's uh, get out the kit and kind of start diving into that. So the first thing we're going to do is carefully examine the body. 
we have pulled it out in the last video and it is in real good shape it's actually interesting that how much sharper this one is as far as the um, the emblems and whatnot I don't know if the phone's gonna hit that clearly not that's all right um, but upon closer examination there are two very minor tire burns in the bottom of that fender and they're not real deep and uh, yeah those are gonna have to get polished out so we're gonna have to do quite a bit of polishing on it on the body and um, additionally which is strange there's actually some kind of minor tire burn on the hood which was interesting because this was actually in the sealed bag so I guess the tire whatever on the bag did this and something that kind of bothers me as well is it has this sink mark around the edge and across the this front edge from this and so we're gonna have to also do some work on the hood to make that real nice. Next up is the red interior. So we pulled this out of the, the more modern red kit and that's going to look pretty neat in there. Um, something we're going to do though, clearly, is we don't want red inner fender wells so there's going to have to be some surgery to zip this off. And since I'm zipping that off, if you look here, this piece between the seats that goes to the carpet is also um, supposed to be black. And so there's going to have to be a very careful cut made on this piece and the black piece to get that little bit in it. You might be thinking that's a lot of work, but the rules are no paint, and I want it to look pretty good. So um, one thing I'm going to, uh, now that I'm looking at this, I'm going to clarify. I wonder um, if we can use flocking. It's not paint. And Sodak has mentioned putting photo etch and wires and all that kind of stuff. No, we're not gonna do any of that. But um, I wonder if I can put flocking on here and still be, be within the rule, rules of the um, group build. Moving to the floor pan, this was a little disappointing. I don't know if you can see that, but that piece is just a little bit warped. And... Uh, I've been kind of real careful about trying to bend it because when you bend plastic, it kind of puts a mark in it. So I'm going to have to add a little bit of heat to this and try to get it a little bit better. I think I can glue it. It uh, still fits pretty good. So that's going to look pretty neat. We're going to have obviously some red showing here underneath. Um, I don't think I'm going to do anything about that. I thought about coloring with a sharp, Sharpie, but that's a lot to cover with a Sharpie. So I think we're just going to live with it after we swap out the, um, the fender wells. One of the tedious things that's going to have to be done is the dashboard. It's clearly in the box art photos. It has a red dashboard in it. So likely we'll use the scribing tool. That's what I'm thinking. Zip that one out, zip that one out. And if we do this just right, we can glue them back together and I'll have a full on red interior. So let's get this party started. We're gonna use the big saw. And we're going to 
chop it right up under there. That's better. So we have a little bit of clean up there, but boop and boop. Now we have first step complete. So we got those cleaned up. And um, I got a little fin right in here. I wanted to save that. So unfortunately, I've already had to break out the Sharpie and touch up that little space. I'm not real happy about that, but you're really not going to see much of it when it's in there. Especially when you put it in the... car lined up this is gonna see you don't really see that much of it um, so for the next little thing we're gonna have to be a whole lot more careful and for that probably gonna use this saw so we have now done this cut down to here to remove this. And I did pretty good on the other side. It wandered just a little bit that way, which is okay. And so if you wonder how I get that piece out, I do a scribe right there. And so then, I kind of call it a score and snap. So when I just do this, that piece comes out just like that. So we'll clean this up, do the same on the, uh, on the black one, and get a little piece of black plastic that'll fit right in there to replace that. That should look pretty cool. Okay. We've gotten the same piece out of the black one that we took out of the red one. And I know what you're thinking. This just seems like a lot of work that you could have just painted something. But uh, I don't know. I kind of like the idea knowing that that little piece it gets squished in here. Let's find something to squish it with. Ooh. Hopefully we don't jab ourselves. That little piece right there. And then especially later on down the line when we put some foil on this thing. I'm going to have that little black piece in there. And I think like these get foiled. A little trim down in on either side gets foiled and that should look pretty neat. Well this seems like a good time to take a break. Next time I plan to remove and swap the molded in dashboards then move on to gluing some other things together. As always like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do because I have all kinds of model car stories to tell. Thanks for watching.